Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hamilton's TV Talk. Today we're talking about investment diamonds and uh, we've got a few examples and uh, a bit of information for you. Uh, obviously, the diamonds we have here, we're we'll talking about investment diamonds, we're not just talking about your sort of run of the mill. Uh, I say run of the mill, they're obviously unique, but more high street diamonds that are more commonly found. So, uh, ones with a lighter, sort of lower colour grade, uh, smaller stone. What we're discussing here is larger stones, stones that have colour, so uh, vivid yellow, we've got some natural pink. Um, stones that are probably more rare, because as with a lot of things, the rarer something is, the more chance you've got to appreciate. And that is the case with a lot of the things that we have here in front of us. Diamonds, uh, if you look back in history, you'll find that they've only ever really moved in one direction. They've, uh, they've increased in value. There are fluctuations in the market like there is with everything. Uh, but if you take usually five to ten year blocks, diamonds, uh, diamonds just go up. So they're solid investment uh, year on year. Uh, certain diamonds you'll find uh, have increased uh, a higher level, uh, which would be something like this would be pink diamonds uh, and fancy yellow diamonds. Uh, and, the, uh, and the larger stones here, which is a five carat example. Uh, so we can always guide our customers into what stones are the best investment at any particular time and uh, show examples of them. Uh, so with, when it comes to uh, choosing these stones and where we come in to sort of guide and, and help is what you'll hear a lot and read a lot on the internet is about the, the four C's. Uh, so your cut, is it round, princess cut, emerald cut, the uh, colour, so starts at D, goes all the way through to, you know, your sort of vivid and fancy yellows. Um, then you've got your clarity, so how many natural inclusions are in the stone. So I'll just give an example now. So this is this is how we look at the stone. This is an empty ring here, which is we call a mount. And we get, oh, that sometimes happens, and then we can find the stones underneath sofas, cupboards, we put that on there. And that is how we then see how that sits in the ring. Does it dress nice in that? And then you can wear it, so then you can wear your investment on your finger. Or if you want to, you can keep it in a packet and keep it in your safe at home. This is another way of storing them. Uh, we can put little seals on them. And this is usually how we find with all the details on with the four C's that James will talk to you about in more detail. I think uh, what I found, what I hear a lot from our customers is obviously putting your money in something. If you have got, uh, uh, you know, a, an amount that perhaps you've been left or you've been saving up for a while, the nice thing is with using diamonds is obviously goes for that saying, the beauty of them, the fact that you can wear them, uh, you know, if we look after them here. So you haven't got to worry uh, if you do want to put it on, wear it every day. That's something that is appreciating in value, yeah. but that is also has given you something like this is a fantastic example. It's a bit more exciting about savings accounts and to earn ISA premium bonds, you, uh, a high interest account. The interest that you'll get back is minimal, uh, over, as everyone will, will know with investments in, in uh, uh, the financial institutions. With diamonds, even if they didn't go up in value, which they do, even if they didn't go up in value, at least you've enjoyed them. And you've, you've... We, we've got lots in stock with different colours. We like to educate our customers, and uh, I hope by doing these videos, we will do that. Yeah.